So you want God to help you empower something, let him start it. You want to contest for election. You didn't go and seek your man of God first. You didn't go and pray to find out if it's God's will and if God will back you. You went and bought card in APC. And then one month to the primaries, that's when you are looking for your man of God. Ask yourself, your other colleagues from the other side that have jazz men and juju men, is it not their juju men that will see for them first whether coast don't clear? You know, of all the spiritual people, Christians are the most lazy. I'm sorry to say, just the truth. If Christians were as fervent as idol worshippers or witches, I mean, the sons of God will be manifesting. So you want God to help you empower something, let him start it. It was God that sent Jesus as the savior of Israel. It was God that released him from River Jordan. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Took him to the wilderness and when he was done with that test, the Bible says he returned in the power of the spirit. Why? Because all through from the conception till his birth till this time, it was the will of God. A zone where you are immune to satanic witchcraft attacks is when you are in the center of the will of God. If you didn't send yourself and God sent you, I'm telling you, demons will be stranded before you. Take it from me. So as long as divine patterns are kept, God will release his glory. He will release his empowerment. He will release his spirit to manifest. Now, how does God empower men? By infusing himself into them. How does God empower men? By infusing himself into them. One secret. How does God empower men? Simple. He infuses himself into them. Job 33 verse 4. The spirit of God has made me. The breath of the almighty has given me life. Or gives me life. God empowers men by infusing himself into them. God told Moses, say, I'll take the spirit that is on you and place it on the 70 elders. And the Bible says when God did it, they all began to prophesy. You want to experience divine empowerment? The secret is simple, that God will infuse himself into you. In Genesis 2, 2 verse 7, the Bible says God breathed into the breast nostrils of man the breath of life. That was divine empowerment for man to function and to exist. The breath of God is the secret to divine empowerment. The breath of God is the secret to supernatural empowerment. You want to walk through this life empowered. You want to walk through this life with the advantage of the spirit realm. That you need the breath of God to come upon you. That's why I started by giving you those three points. I said God has a pattern in the establishment of things that he works with. God creates container before putting content. The content we are talking about today is the breath of God. Not just into your body, but into your business. Do you know the breath of God can be infused into your business? The breath of God can be infused into your ministry. The breath of God can be infused into your career. There is a spirit in man, a vital force. Please keep that amplified translation. I believe that's, that's going to be the verse for the whole of the night. There is a spirit, a vital force, an intelligence in man. And the breath of the Almighty gives man understanding. When you receive an infusion of the life of God in you, you have been empowered for success. You have been empowered for progress. You have been empowered to fulfill divine purpose. All that God would need to do to you at this point is to infuse some dimension of himself into you. Anything that God puts himself into, there are benefits you will find in the natural as a sign that God has infused himself in that thing. When the breath of God comes into or upon a thing, there are natural benefits you'll find. There are physical manifestations you'll find. And you know that the breath of God is on this thing. There's something called artificial intelligence that can be put in a non-living thing. How about spiritual intelligence? How about divine intelligence? God can put it in your business. God can put it in your academics and you will excel beyond limits. 
God can put it in your career and you can rise to high points, high places in few years. Anything around your life that is malfunctioning is malfunctioning because it lacks the breath of God, which is the secret to supernatural empowerment. You may not believe what I'm saying until life has hit you a little bit. Then you will understand that you have to be spiritual to survive on this earth. Everything on this earth is designed to control its inhabitants. It is not natural to survive and thrive without any issue. No. The world we live in is dysfunctional. Though it belongs to God, but it has been dysfunctioned by the sin of Adam. You know, God said, cost is the ground for your sake. And I hear a lot of um, new creation preachers say that that cost has been taken away in Jesus Christ. It's a lie. You don't read your Bible well. It's the cost of the law of Moses that was taken in Jesus, not the cost of the ground. That's why after the flood, what did God do? A cost earth. He now blessed Noah because blessings are greater than causes. That is why when the blessing of God is on your life in form of his breath. Because how does God bless people? He speaks to them. And when you speak, what comes out of your mouth? Breath. So when a man is blessed, I have a series on that. The blessing, the secret to surviving in any economy. It's a series. We are getting there soon. A cost earth, a cost land. They say Meduguri, everything is extreme. They say Meduguri, the poverty ratio is high. They say Meduguri, if you don't have NGO job or you are not a military personnel, there's nothing for you. But bring a man that carries the breath of God on him. Plus, plus, minus is equals to what? Plus. So the breath of God, which is the spirit of life, which is the breath of life, is the secret to divine empowerment. The breath of God is the secret to supernatural empowerment. 